Every superhero gotta have their theme music, right? This is the Eco Hero Anthem. Eco Hero symbols up. Eco, let go! I'm a superhero, an eco hero. 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 My boy came up to me after an assembly. He said the future looks bright because of me. I said I'm true. It's bright because of you, you and all of your friends at home and at school. I started this whole thing. Welcome back everyone for more Action League adventures. Welcome to our home on Ohlone land. The original caretakers as well as other nations throughout the Bay Area. It's another beautiful day out here in East Oakland, California. I go by the name of Christian Cantaloupe. And this is my family. If y'all would please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Christina. This is Cookie. She acts like a cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Junior. And this is Yakul, and he eats like a cow. The person behind the camera is my brother Zoram. Yo, 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 we just came back from a walk, so I'm pretty hungry, so the dogs and my family, so let's go get a snack. I'm gonna feed the dogs. Oh, she goes to feed the dogs to see if we have to make the breakfast. Um, I think I'm down for some yogurt. Okay. They gave us some vanilla and other fruits. Nice. Cinnamon. Okay. Uh, let's grab some strawberries and uh. <laughs> Put some oranges in here. <laughs> There's a lot of strawberry. <laughs> 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 the strawberries are from the young man that sells them by the case in the neighborhood. Let me think, where else did I get some of these ingredients from? Oh, I bought the yogurt from the family market down the street from y'all's elementary school. The school district provides young people with free meals, which is where those raisins are from. So, uh, what's y'all favorite part of breakfast? I enjoyed creating a bowl out of different ingredients that we had available in the house. It turned out pretty good. I liked how the persimmons were picked from our great grandma's tree. Ye brought them for us to share with everyone. Eee, that's love. I appreciate these raisins and really everything it takes for us to have access to healthy food. As we eat our breakfast, we would like you to reflect on the last meal that you ate. Okay, now let's clean up and throw away the waste. Squishy plastics and fruit stickers all go in the garbage bin. And we have some clean paper products. We're gonna go on the recycling. And food soil napkins or papers go on the compost, as well as food scraps. We can also put them in the worm bin. Yeah. So right now. We're just rolling the bins out and they're gonna be taken away tomorrow.
it's garbage day and we are going to follow our garbage truck driver Don Manuel to find out where all of our stuff is being taken to field trip time everybody hop in seat belts everybody hey DJ play something good for the ride yeah Theo has a new song oh DJ mini back oh yeah to the transfer station we go let's dance to throw away. We're back at the 4Rs Action League headquarters located on Waste Management's Davis Street Transfer Station in San Leandro, California. Today, we're all joining our adventure, a story on the journey of our waste for breakfast. To find out more, we are joining students on the Soft Waste Education Center field trips. Let's put on our garbage and safety gear and catch up to the class. The first thing we Let's go, follow the class. A transfer station is a place that collects the different types of materials that people decide to get rid of. Depending on the material, it will go to a special section of the facility to be then loaded and transported to its next destination. Materials that come here don't stay here very long. Recycling is sorted at the materials recovery facility. Skilled workers and machines filter through the materials into specific categories. For example, there is your orange homework paper that Cook ate. Once the material you recycle is separated by type, it goes to a compactor machine that tightly bundles materials into rectangular bales for efficient transporting. From here, it will travel to its next destination to make new items from the recycled content. Food scraps and plant trimmings collected from curbside compost bins are transported to a large-scale composting facility. Compost is added to soil to improve the overall health and biodiversity in the ground that will help grow healthier food and plants by farmers, gardeners, and people like you and I. Nature is truly amazing. Nature does not waste. Nature creates and sustains life. We are all part of the web of life and each of us have our special roles and responsibilities to learn. It's about 10 to 12 feet deep and it's full of when garbage arrives here, it is not sorted. Unlike recycling and compost, trash is usually never sorted. So your hands are the last hands that decide the material's fate. So it's really up to us to make sure whatever we decide to throw away goes to the proper places. Depending on what you have access to, waste may come with the things that we use and buy. Our neighborhood collection day is today and we were wondering if we will see our waste. As garbologists, we want you to make observations of what you notice with your eyes and your ears. As you're observing, is there anything that you wonder? Are there clues to why it may smell? What do you think is the number one item, by weight, families are throwing away into the garbage? By weight, the answer is food. food. Yes, food. Food scraps, food leftovers, food wasted that could have been eaten, shared, or composted. Are there any connections that you can make related to your favorite food and the waste that comes with it? Garbage brought to the transfer station is being squished by the large front-loading trucks that push the materials to help fill large opossum belly trucks that are parked underneath the building. Each of these trucks can hold up to 50,000 pounds of material. That's around the weight of 100 adult grizzly bears. 
Let's follow these trucks transporting materials to be buried at the Altamont Landfill in Livermore. Materials sent to be landfilled is our community's waste. Each of us have an opportunity to reduce the amount being sent. Many families are continuing to educate others of the importance and impact individuals have in creating resilient communities. Let us radically imagine a just world where we protect people and the natural world. Let us nurture a thriving future together. Reducing food waste is important because it helps our environment and we all want to be able to live in a beautiful and healthy place. To me, reducing food waste is important because it will help reduce the amount of carbon emissions that are entering our atmosphere. Reducing food waste is important to me because it connects me with community. I'm grateful for all the people and resources it takes for us to have food. Why is reducing food waste important to you? The 4Rs Action League would love to hear from you. Visit stopwaste.org slash schools for more information, resources, and activities. Let us know your 4Rs because Earth Day is every day. We all are a part of the regeneration. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Sing this first, sing what an eco hero must do.